today what we're doing is we have final presentations for our class where we have formed into teams. So there's four teams in the class and uh, they each have chosen a challenge. The students chose the challenge that they wanted to deliver on. And their challenge is to use the elements of professional product design to try to solve a problem in this world and then present out what their solution is. iPro is really fun actually. Um, we're working on right now a, a material or a container that keeps food warm without condensation. It's a lot of uh, good teamwork, uh, building, different type of things like that. Um, it's quite fun. We stay till 4 o'clock every Thursday. Oh, we also are talking about like um, we have to do user research, so we have to go interview certain people, um, explaining like uh, what's not good about like the food containers that they have and different things like that. Uh, me and my team have been creating a helmet that limit the rates of concussions. It's concussions is a big problem, not just in football, but just like in um, in general. So we chose football specifically to help reduce concussion rates. Our project, what we do here in this class, it's an engineering class it's called iPro. So we came in here, a couple people, we didn't know we are going to be doing groups and whatnot, but um, came up with a project, we voted on it, and we came up with water. Water, how do we supply it, how do we transition, and how do we like make clean water? It puts you through the, uh, the scientific method, or the, actually the engineering method, where you develop a product, you brainstorm that product, you then um, figure out how to prototype the product, and if any problem arises, you go back to square one. My group's problem was uh, actually to wake up. We took an alarm clock and we decided, well, you know, you don't always wake up. Sometimes you'll go over there, you'll, you'll hit the snooze button, or you'll hit the off button and go back to bed, and that's a really big problem. 